Hey, so what's up my YT homies? It's Salafia. And I am coming in with another video. I hope you all can see me good. I think in my last video, it wasn't focused as good as I thought it was. So I got to work on that. I did have up here in my bedroom, I did have, um, I'm trying to put some lotion on my hands. But I did have a thing that I would put up in the chair to make sure that I was in focus. And it hasn't been up here. It's it's like it's a step basically for like when you do step aerobics or whatever. And it came from the firm thing, but I would put it in my chair and focus in on that to make sure I was in focus. But it hasn't been up here, so um, forgive me for you know being out of focus on a couple of my video. Well, on my last video. All right, so this video I'm coming in with a haul, and I am going to do like a mini review on something. Um, not on every item, but on one item because one item I have gotten the chance to use and discover that I don't like it. So without further ado, let's get in. This is going to be a drugstore, MAC, and the Ulta haul. Yeah, no way. Drugstore, Macy's, and Ulta. Um, when I say Macy's, these pure, the beauty products that I got from Macy's, like um, MAC and a couple of other things. So let's get into and start with some things I got from Ulta. So one of my really good friends, she's a, a language arts teacher. She teaches with me at the high school. We met because a uh, year she started teaching and we became, you know, close, closer as the years went along. And it's like now we're just like, we're even much closer this year. And so basically, well, first of all, let me tell y'all, congratulations to her. She won teacher of the year this year. And then for our county, she's in the top 10 for teacher of the year. Woo woo, go girl, go Kiri. <laughs> anyway, so she's transitioning to natural and she, uh, she doesn't really know anything about doing hair for real for real because as a relaxed girl she, all she did was wear wraps so basically to break it down make a long story short she's been wearing Senegalese twists as a transition hairdo so when she takes them down she comes to me and I'll do her hair well and then while I'm doing her hair the whole time I'm doing her hair I'm fussing because of the two different textures and she has like about this much new growth and she won't cut the rest of those relaxed ends off. she's one of those chicks like I used to be I didn't want to cut my hair off but then I was like I can't deal with the two textures so it's okay for her because she doesn't deal with the two textures. I deal with the two textures. Well, anyway, she'll sometimes, um, depend when I do stuff for her, do her hair, whatever, she'll take me out to dinner or something like that. Whatever, you know, just like, okay, my friend did something for me, I'm going to do something for my friend. Well, this time, she asked me what did I want and... Urban Decay, not Urban Decay, Ulta had this palette. Now the true part about it, I bought this palette some time ago. I took the palette back because I didn't like the palette. I, th I bought the palette. I turned around and for her birthday, I bought the palette for her because she's not like into makeup like I am, but I'm trying to make her a junkie. Yeah, I'm trying to make her a junkie. No, <laughs> so I bought her this palette for her birthday and then to turn around and the regular price is 34, but to turn around, Ulta had this palette on sale for 18. <laughs> uh, when it was last week, I think it was this week, a few days ago, I think, what day we go? Did we go and get this thing? We went and got it Sunday. And so she bought this for me. Uh, she asked me, did I want her to get me a meal or whatever? And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to Ulta to get that palette. You can get the palette for me. So she got this palette. And I'll show it to you all just in case for those of you that have never seen it. And it is the Urban Decay Shadow Box Palette. And I love these colors in this palette. And I took it back. Why I took it back when I took the palette back when I first got it, I do not know because it has some beautiful colors in it. I love these colors, especially the, um, let me turn it this way because this way right here, this is the colors of the right way. But Indu, is it Indu? Indu, this green color, um, Free Love. I mean, this palette, it, well, first of all, this palette just has some uber awesome colors like Free Love. Look at that. I mean, of course, and y'all know there's no primer on my hand or nothing. No, uh, and then let's see, Indu. I mean, I love these colors. I love, love, love these colors. So yeah, so when they, I was like, okay, I might as well go ahead and get, go back and get this palette. And I actually was gonna get this palette when Urban Decay had their 20% off a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't. And I'm glad I didn't because, what well, is it, 34, 36? I think it's 34, 36 regular price. It would have been more. So I'm glad I didn't. And an eyeshadow primer he gave us at the store. Um, he gave her 
in eyeshadow primer. She gave it to me because she said she already had primer that I had given her. So she gave me this one, so I have that. Okay, so the next thing is I went back to Ulta that next day on that Monday, and I made two transactions. Now, these items that I'm about to show you, can out of pocket, I paid $16 or something because I used coupons, and uh, I used manufactured coupons, and I used Ulta coupons. And the items were on sale. It was L'Oreal and um, Revlon on sale. Buy two, get one free. So let me show you what I got. And like I said, I split these items up into two different transactions. That way I could use two of the 350 off of 10 coupons. All right, so first thing I have is this brow plumper styler. Black brow stylist plumper. Brow stylist plumper, and I have three of these. And if you all have been following my channel for a while, you know I use these on my brows. And normally I would get the medium to dark and the light to medium, but this time I, I got all light to medium. Well, the last time, the first time, they last a pretty long time. So this is the second time I bought. First time I got the light to medium and the medium to dark. But I found that this right here is enough for my eyebrows. Just like now, these my eyebrows today are just with the light to medium. I've Stop using the medium to dark. I even have, have a get ready with me that should be up before this video where you'll see me using both of them. And I've changed since then. And then the next items are all from Revlon. And in the Revlon, I got, okay, the Revlon products I have. First thing I have is this Revlon Photo Ready Light Medium Powder. And I have not used a drugstore powder in gosh i don't know years and years but i'm trying to find a powder to set my under eye concealer because and i don't know what you can see you might you may be able to see you may not be able to see it but when i use i've learned that when i use my mac studio fix because it is a foundation in because it's a foundation it's and it oxidizes it makes me look darker under my eyes i mean you know i have darkness under my eyes and then i put the concealer on to get away get away from the darkness and then to turn around and put a product on that brings darkness and that's just not okay that's just not what i want so i bought this in the hopes that this would work for under eye setting my concealer and I'm trying to open it up to kind of see what the color looks like. And they had like a translucent and I'll tell you why I didn't get translucent. But this powder right here in this color, I think this color is a pretty good color to where it should set. So as long as it is able to set because, you know, when you say you want something to set and that does not leave any creases that's just ludicrous to me because i mean i haven't found anything yet that does not leave creasing because i have lines under my eyes i've had lines under my eyes i've told you all since i was a teenager so it's, it is a part of me it is there but i do want to kind of cover it up and not have it show so much so hopefully this will work and then the other two products i got are lip products and they are some color stay ultimate liquid lipsticks the first color i have is ultimate orchid and it is a number 006 they have numbers on them as well and then the second one is color number 030 miracle moth and i figured these would be some nice springtime colors so i'm gonna open them real quick and kind of do a little swatch test i guess of these lip these colors so it's not really that dark there it is right there and here's the it's, it has one of those sponge applicator tips so let's see what it looks like so i'm going to use this lens to put it on I like that, even without a liner. I mean, I have to come back in and use it when my lips are not like a little tinted from the previous lipstick, but I like All that. Right. So, like I said, my lips are still a little tinted, but here this, here's this one, and there's still the spongy wand, so. Okay, so I like that one too. I like this one as well. I do think I like the first one better. So I like this one too, but I do think I like the other one better. But we shall see. So next, here are the things I got from Macy's. So the first thing I got from Macy's that will be going back to Macy's is this MAC Zach Posen. It is a prep and prime transparent finishing powder. It's a pressed powder. 
and I don't know what made me take a chance at purchasing this because I've gotten a translucent powder from MAC before and I ended up wasting my money and I didn't never took it back and I ended up having to make it out of back to MAC but I won't be doing that with this I can't remember what it costs but and here it is and it's just a white translucent powder just a white translucent powder I have really really been wanting to try the Sasha banana powder that people are always wearing or, or always talking about but you know I have yet to try that one because when I go on their site there's not unless they've changed it it's been a while since I've been on there but there was not a secure checkout I will not check out unless there's a secure checkout all right and one reason why and I think I told you all before I like to get the Mac products when I get them from Macy's is because I can order with Ebates and get the cash back all right, so the next thing I got is I decided to get the MAC Mineralized Charge Water. I've never tried this MAC Mineralized Charge Water, but I decided to try this. I told you all before, I am out of my Studio Fix Plus. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this MAC Charge Water to see if there's a difference in, you know, using this versus using the Fix Plus. So, so we shall see. Now, this one right here on my lip, and I don't know what, I didn't have the other one on long enough, but this one kind of feels like it's a little sticky. Alright, so something else I decided to try is the Laura Geller Spackle Classic Original Makeup Primer. Now, I'm not out of my Becca Matte Poreless Primer, but I don't know, for some reason lately my oils have been popping out a little bit quicker than what they normally would. And, you know, I love the MAC, the Becca Matte Primer, but I don't know why my oils have been popping out more. It may, could, may just be the change in my diet or something. Um, as you all know, I told you I'm back on my weight loss, quote unquote, journey. Um, I'm down eight pounds. So let's say that. I'm going to say that. I'm down eight pounds. Woo, woo. Okay, anyway. Um, so I've never tried anything from Laura Geller, so I decided to try this to see um, if I like say oil free primer. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Alright, so then these next products are definitely products that will be in a giveaway, and I don't know how I'm going to separate them for the giveaway, so just be on the lookout, but it will be coming. I'm not going to wait anymore until trying to wait till I get 3,000 subscribers because I'm ready to just share something, but once again, you all know I'm couponing, so I had some coupons for 50 cent off of Wet n Wild products, and as you all know, I'm not a fan of Wet n Wild, but there are people that are a fan of Wet n Wild, so I mean, other than the lip liners and the eyebrow pencils or whatever, I'm not a I'm not a fan of Wet n Wild. So I got some things for some other people. So I don't know, you know, like I said, I'm going to do the giveaway. I don't know whether it's going to be a hidden giveaway or whether I'm just going to have like a Wet n Wild giveaway. So let me show you all what I purchased. And like I said, the, the store, I went to Walgreens, so you could do the math. These items were like super, super good deal, awesome deal, because they were 40% off of Wet n Wild products. And then I had a 50 cent off of one Wet n Wild product. And then I still have some more coupons that I'm going to use to get some more products. So I will be having several Wet n Wild giveaways coming up soon because I don't want to waste those coupons. And I know it's like, well, it's just a coupon. But if I can share with somebody, you know, because there are some people that are, very much so less fortunate than I am. Even though my situation has changed, there are some people that are even more less fortunate. And if I can help them, I'll help. All right, them. so let's get into this. I have a 380B, and it's called Walking on Eggshells Palette, three color trio palette. And then here is a 335 Silent Treatment Palette, 334 I'm Getting Sunburned Palette, and then a 381B Sweet as Candy Palette. All right, and then I purchased some single colors, and I purchased, first I purchased this 252C Nutty Noisette, 251B Creme Brulee, 255D Panther, 352B Brass, it's like a gold. This is like I think I now purchased one of these for myself to try. It's like a gold glitter, and I think you could probably just put it on top of an eyeshadow. I'll let you all know. Uh, 353B spiked. It's like a silver. All right, and then the next thing I did purchase, I purchased some. I purchased some lipsticks. The colors I purchased, I tried to find colors that were fitting for spring to come in. And it's 515D What's Up Doc. Let's look, see if that's kind of like the color. Three, I'm sorry, 512B Sunset Peach. 
527B Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. And then 518D Nouveau Pink. And then the next thing I purchased is a conglomerate. And some of these are mine and some of these will be in a giveaway. But I purchased some eyebrow pencils as well as or eyeliner pencils but I use them for eyebrow eyeliner eyebrow whatever you call them the brown ones and I purchased some lip liners so it's just a bunch several of these and so I purchased like two of each color uh three no three of each color and what will happen is I'll have two giveaways and then the one for myself yeah. So that's pretty much it. So like I said, be on the lookout. I don't know whether it's going to be a hidden giveaway or whether or not it's going to be a video with just a giveaway. Right now I don't have time to kind of separate it. I'm trying to kind of get some things done. So hopefully by this weekend I'll have it separated and decided and I'll hopefully be the one back to the store and got some more Wet n Wild products. If they have them on sale. I think they have them on sale this week again as well. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing about couponing. The best time to use a coupon is when it's stuff is on sale and then you use a coupon. So yeah, that's it. That's all I have for right now. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Video. I really do appreciate it so much. Thank you to the new subscribers that have come to me. And once again, Creative Lady, thank you so much for letting me be a part of your video, your vision for YouTube tips. And to everybody that's watching this video and everybody that watched that video, I hope you enjoyed the tips. Like you did check out the ladies that were in the description box that collaborated with the video as well. All right, so that's it for now. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share this video across all your social media. So until the next time and in between time, you ladies be safe. And I will do what? Catch you on the flip side. Bye.